Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at the Cycle Cart Workshop working on the Samson Cycle Cart Club Cart build. So we got more to come. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back at it. We're gonna get the hood fabricated today. We're gonna work on the steering and the pedal assembly. Let's get rocking. So the first part I'm gonna make from aluminum is this cowl section. So Dennis has already done a little template for us. So we're just gonna follow this and uh, get the first piece of aluminum on here for the top of the body panel for the hood area. So I transferred the pattern to the aluminum and I cut it a little long on both ends, on the ends, and then I marked the center line and I found a radius from where the flat end is to the center, marked that and I transferred those marks to the back side. Then I added a mark every one inch and I've got a tool, I'll show you this tool that tells me the radius of the shape. If you can find these online, this just helps you find the radius. This works great for finding the radiuses. This one happens to be a six inch radius. I put it right on there. It's really close to between four and six. Six is the closest it's gonna to be to it. And um, same, ends up being the same radius on the cowl. So I just did my one inch marks in line with the center line that I marked on the other side. And so we're gonna run the English wheel on those lines. So uh, let's get English wheeling. So I've got my Harbor Freight English wheel and I've got a uh, rubber band on the top wheel. And this causes it to curve in only one direction. It doesn't, it doesn't create a crown. If I took the rubber band off, it would create a crown and make a high spot in the center of this panel. So the rubber band facilitates it just bending that direction. If we wanted a crown, we would be stretching this material. Right now we're just shaping it to the right and left. Now I've got an index lines so I can do, uh, I can follow the wheel a little easier. If it's not really leaving marks, I can't really see the tracking. So these lines help me make sure I go through the panel straight and do the same amount of passes on each of the lines. So that hopefully it will curve over evenly and not create like a really tight spot or really loose spot. So the idea is to do it slowly and sneak up on it. You can see it's clearly it's coming along. I can force this down. This is 40 thousandths. I could force this down and make it fit, but I'm going to try to get the shape into the metal so you don't have to do that. It'll just drop right on it and fit nicely. So I do have flat areas here and flat areas here, and then all the curved area goes all the way to the tip. So. Go pretty quick, maybe five minutes of it wheeling so far. Try to just keep it on the lines and then between the lines on the reverse pass. Run them all the way off the thing so I don't put them right in the corners. If we were trying to raise this up, we would stop short of the edge. But because we're going all the, going all the way through, you can see it falling off the wheel on both passes. So I'll try to round through this side using this line as my kind of starting point. And I'm using a three inch crown wheel. I could use a, a lighter crown, but this is moving it pretty quickly. If you increase the pressure too much, this metal is so thin, it'll crease it. Sometimes it starts to walk off a little bit. If you readjust your band. Uh, Dentist board here. Uh, 
it's on the underside of the wheel, right? And yeah, it goes along with the machine. So here's an update. Uh, we got the cowl on, and I'm going through and putting some sheet metal screws to learn how to click those. Uh, we got the pedal assembly built. Uh, they're doing some fine tuning on it right now. Uh, a lot of the wood work is done. So when we get back from our lunch break, we're gonna maybe tackle this hood piece. So making some good progress. Works proceeding on the hood. I made a template and made it a little bit long and I marked the dead center of this because this is where we're gonna cut the center of this hood once I mark it all out and uh, cut this to a fist and then we're gonna run through the English wheel. Okay, so when you're working on cycle carts, it's important to have a cycle cart t-shirt because your stuff always turns out great. I'm cutting this out. We got the pedal assembly installed. We got these wood pieces made so for a, kind of a buck to fit the fiberglass body panels on the tail section and the nose. In fact, let's go look at the tail section. So here's where Dennis and Steven have been working on the tail. We're making a fiber or a plywood buck basically. The, glue, the uh, foam will be glued to this and then we'll work it into the shape we want. So this is being glued right now. Uh, there's a bottom on, on here for the, you can see the wood here for the fiberglass. Everything's hit, or for the, the aluminum. Everything's gonna be fit to this. So we have a nice, beautiful Grand Prix style tail for the Samson. So I think we're gonna call that the end of today's video. Check out our Etsy store. You can get great t-shirts like this one that Steven designed. It supports him and his endeavors for college and for flight training. We appreciate it. Also check out our Amazon store. All the parts we're using this build, or most of the parts we're using this build that we see from Amazon are available on there. And uh, let me know if you have any questions on the build or what we're doing. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. Go out in the garage and build something cool.